The reboot of non-league to legend starts right here. Yeah, that's right, a reboot. You might only say it's been four days since the last episode, so it's not much of a reboot. But we're going to completely change what we do in this series. We're going to make it more suited to what goes on in life after Venga, which I think has been quite a good success on the channel. Some of my best ever videos have been in life after Venga, and I want to bring that back into this series for season 9. And where better to start the reboot than back where we started the series at Gateshead, and they're still in League 1. Hey guys, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2017 and part 1 of Season 9 of Non-League to Legend back at home in Gateshead. Yeah, last episode we win Dortmund. Um, I was saying that I'd see you for the German Cup Final. Never thought um, that I would be, uh, you know, um, knocked out of the German Cup by Leverkusen. And the season kind of petered out. I got very, very much bored of it, um, but we went, we went out of it um, on penalties in the end, and then we won the three of the last four games and, and ended up winning the the title by a long way. I've turned Germany off now, uh, and I resigned straight away from Dortmund. Um, we didn't even win manager of the season, but we did win the Bundesliga for a second consecutive year, and uh, and now we'll, we've gone. Back to Gateshead, who sacked their manager. Um, you know, we're, we're now in November, so we're in a bit of relegation trouble. There's some of the old boys still here. Um, the likes of Lewis Thomas, I think I brought him in on loan the season I left. Um, and he went on to, to sign for Gateshead, so that's that's quite a cool thing. Um, just looking at these, these players, none of these were in our, our squad. Um, but Luke Kroll was here. Um, Zeki Fryers, we had him in the Wheel of Fortune with Man City not so long ago. I, I can't recognise any other names in there, but uh, we're going to try and bring some of the old boys back together. Don't you worry about that. Um, but like you, I'm meeting the squad today. We only got appointed um, on Tuesday, I think. So we've had a day and a half to, to bring in the si the system that we used at Dortmund, um, and just try and 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 do something here. Um, we're looking for a, a victory, but it's against Wickham. Where are Wickham in the table? They're third in League One, so it might not be too um, sort of disheartening if we lose this. But we want to compete, and this is the team that we're going to go for. Um, I'm going to have two matches in this episode. We're going to finish off against Oxford, but a lot of away games coming up, so it's going to be tough. We have to get off to a good start. Lewis Thomas will start in goal. Uh, former Swansea goalkeeper, yeah. Um, yeah, he, he looks like a good goalkeeper, so he comes in. <sighs> Andrew Elif Theroux. <laughs> yeah. Ella Theroux, that's what he's going to be called. Uh, he's come in on a free transfer from Gillingham, but he has played for Watford before, so um, he, he could be Premier League quality in the future, you never know. Nathan Baxter has come in. Uh, Everton, he, he was was at, um, but then he went to Barnet before joining us on a free transfer, and, and he looks like a good centre-back. Uh, Javier Cruz, 20-year-old um, Spanish centre-back, uh, he was at Newcastle for five years before joining us on a free transfer. Um, Brandon Omonde Otteville. Otteville. Uh, he was at Arsenal and then he went to Swindon Town and he's had a, a good few years at this level uh, joining us this season. Uh, Alad Rees, um, or Rees. Uh, he's 24 years old. He's a Welshman. He, he looks like he's got some good potential. He's, he's spent a good few years at Cardiff, never really getting into the team. But has uh, been an established member of the Gateshead squad the last few years. Uh, Warren Bannister, he's probably one of the best players at the club in, in terms of potential. He, he hasn't had a good time of it so far this season, but hopefully we can bring out the best of him. Uh, James Weir uh, is probably the best player at the club in terms of current ability. He's been around the houses a bit. He, he made a Premier League appearance for Manchester 
Manchester United in real life uh, a few years ago. Then he went to Hull, played six games in the Premier League, and he's been at Redden for a, a few years, and then Derby. So he's been playing in the Championship, or at least this level, for the last sort of seven years, and that, that gives us good hope as he's come in the last couple of seasons and done all right. So we're, we're looking to build a squad around him. Owen Doyle will start as the shadow striker. He's 20 years old. He's on loan from uh, Ipswich Town, by the looks of things. He, he had an OK season at Bolton last year. He's had an OK season here so far. Owen Jones um, is going to start up front for us. He's been here for five years now, joined the season after I left, and he's he scored quite a few goals for Gateshead uh, in and around this division. He comes from Swansea again. And Roger Hickman, on loan from Derby County. He's had a good few years, but um, never really at this sort of level. But he has scored six goals already this season, so hopefully he'll do all right. Anyway, uh, I'll take a breath now, and let's get into the match against Wickham. It's going to be a tough one, but uh, hopefully we can get a, a victory. That'll, um, that'll mean um, we'll hopefully get out of the relegation zone. I haven't actually looked at... Um, how far adrift we are. I've just seen the Gateshead job become available. I applied for it. I obviously got it. I mean, you know, I would have been very disappointed not to get the Gateshead job after being at Dortmund the last couple of years. But, um, yeah, we're back. We're back to finish the job we started. Uh, here's Jones and Reese gets us off to a brilliant start. Alad Reese with his second goal of the season and it's 1 0 within seven minutes. The Hanard Fever is back at Gateshead. You know, it's not beyond the realms of possibility that we could um, have a half-hearted attempt at getting into the, the sort of top six this season. Um, you know, if we had a really good start. But the main thing is getting away from, from danger and building for next season. That is uh, my objective. I think, you know, we went out, finished eighth in League One. It was a devastating day. Hickman's just made it 2 0, his eighth goal of the season. And we're already 2 0 up within 22 minutes here. I'm very, very happy with the start. Um, and it's starting to look like the old Gateshead. Unfortunately, most of the old boys have retired. Um, but I am going to try and bring the, the old gang back together, the sort of Mitch Brundles, the Gus Mafutas of this world. Um, and Sam Lavelle, who was a, a brilliant centre back for us. Um, few years ago Reese has just hit the crossbar what a game he's having so far and at half time with 2 nil, that's a very very good start for us and they're, they're hopefully motivated by the fact that a, a multi European title winner has uh, has joined obviously Rangers and, and Dortmund you know it's only two European nations that we've won the, the top division title at but you know, we've won four domestic league titles since we left Gateshead, so that leaves us in good stead. We're going to bring on Jack Ballantyne um, and play him probably up with Hickman instead, um, up with Jones, and then play Hickman as a shadow striker. He can play as a target man on attack, and we'll see how that goes. Um, obviously getting used to this level of football again uh, with players not able to play as a complete forward or as a roaming playmaker type role uh, is going to take some adjusting too but yeah, very good start Hickman should have made it three there unlucky uh, but Alad is going to be man of the match you would think Jones now Ballantyne and Cruz Weir Jones Hickman Reese. Ballantyne, Ballantyne here, it was Bannister on the ball before, sorry, and that's away, and that is full time, 2-0, very, very pleased with that, only one substitute made, um, but we can be very, very proud of our performance there, and that'll give us a, a platform to hopefully go into the rest of the season, we will be playing Oxford in the next match, but um, yeah, I'm not going to record that right now, but you're going to see it in just a second. A couple of changes for the Oxford game then. Um, Bannertine comes into the midfield as does Robbie McKenzie because Aladrice and James Weir, are, uh, James Weir, pardon me, um, are absolutely knackered. Um, we're going to bring Nathan Edwards in for Baxter as well because he's looking quite tired. So Nathan Edwards 
gets his first start. He's 19 year old and uh, and joined us from Manchester City, so he has a bit of potential. Um, and well, we we're going to sign Mafuta, we're going to sign Daish, we're going to sign Brundle. They they're all coming in January, so you know. Uh, the very least, we're gonna we're gonna get a bit more squad depth, and I know that they can do it at League One level because they did it for us five year ago, um, and they're meant to be in the peak of the career now. There were young players back then. Banatine has just um, forced a corner now. Doyle into the middle. He has a Banatine again. Doyle into the middle now. Mackenzie Balatine puts it in the back of the net and it's 1 0. Jack Balatine from midfield. It said that he wasn't good in that position, but who cares? We'll go we'll go 1 0 up now. Mackenzie with the assist. So the two changes we've brought in have linked up there and got our got us a goal early on against Oxford. And what a start we've had uh, to life back at Gateshead and I'm really really excited uh, at least for the next couple of years you know uh, to be back at Gateshead to maybe see off the end of the series um, before season 10 but you guys let us know if uh, if you're happy to see us back at uh, at Gateshead that's a penalty who's going to save it here hopefully <sighs> didn't need to that was a terrible penalty but yeah let us know if, you, if you're happy that we're back at Gateshead now, um, and hopefully we'll we'll get back to enjoying the series and uh, and starting to build something with uh, with Gateshead. So Ballantyne forward, uh, Owen Jones was offside unfortunately. Mackenzie into the middle. Here's Doyle, and it's deflected in. Owen Doyle with his third goal of the season. Lots of criticism for him by the press. Uh, I had to defend him in press conference, don't really know how that's gone down as his goal but I'm not complaining, it's 2-0 um, and at the 60 minute mark we're looking good for our second consecutive victory of the episode um, he's a bit more of an attacking player but there's not much else I can do really um, we'll bring Owen Jones off for Daniel Golden uh, and play him as a target man um, yeah, we'll do that. 2 0 at the minute, 72 minutes gone. Oh, I've played him as a false nine, that was an accident. Uh, that'll do. Um, Cruz can. Well, no, he can't. Uh, we'll bring off him for, for Josh Clark, give him a run out. <clears throat> well, yeah, everybody's just so tired. I, for, I forgot what this level of football was like, where the fitness was just so shabby really uh, but here's golden with a chance and it's a penalty I mean I think that was a goal scoring opportunity number 26 that's Khan he's just come on and he's put it into the back of the net 3-0 brilliant performances in both t of today's matches we're going to be doing two matches per episode um, for the foreseeable future now um, I just want to see that as the direction my channel goes I, I much prefer having a longer video just have more time to relax rather than trying to get you know a six seven minute episode out you know personally from what I enjoy uh, from football manager youtubers is about a 15 minute episode so that's what we're going to be aiming for time and time again apologies if it's a bit noisy outside it's very very warm in the UK right now um, so I have got windows open but there we go uh, Hickman is injured for three weeks that's very unfortunate when are we going to come back then? I think we might um, just play a couple of matches, maybe get used to the team and come round uh, around New Year time. So Charlton and, and, and Bradford City, I think we'll come back for. Uh, we're already out of the FA Cup, so it is literally just the league and the checker trade, checker trade trophy nonsense that we've got left um, to look forward to. But if you've enjoyed this episode, make sure you leave a like down below. It really does help out the channel and really helps out me as well um, and yeah I hope you guys are having a wonderful day leave your comments in the um, in, in the comment section let us know what you think about the format changes reboot of non-league to legend let us know if you're excited for us to be back at Gateshead I certainly am and yeah hope to see you guys in a couple of days time for uh, the next episode thanks for watching and goodbye mm -hmm.